Mandarin Grammar with Chen Lao Shi Wu. That's ya hao. Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mandarin Grammar. Last time we talked about asking questions with the awesome word ma. This time we're going to ask questions by stating a verb and then negating a verb right after it in the same question. So let's look at one of the questions in our last video using ma. We asked, "Ni xi huan fei ma?" You like planes? You can ask the same question in a different way by stating the verb and then negating it. So you could say, "Ni xi huan bu xi huan fei ci." You like or don't like planes? Note that in English we like saying "or" in that question, but we don't say "or" in Chinese in this case. So the verb in here is "xi huan," which is like. So in our new question, we say "xi huan." This kind of question makes the response really, really simple because all you have to do is choose the verb or its opposite. You can say "xi huan like," or you can say "bu xi huan don't like." Remember, though, that not all verbs are negated using the word "bu." There's also the word "mei," which is frequently used together with "yo" to show lack of possession, or with "guo." Which shows lack of past experience. For example, "ni yo mei yo go." You have or don't have a dog. To respond, all you have to do is say "yo have" or "mei yo don't have." Let's look at an example using "guo." I could say "ni zuo guo mei zuo guo di tie." You have taken or have not taken the subway. In this case, your response would be. 坐过 if you have taken the subway, or 没坐过 if you haven't. And that's a wrap on asking questions using opposing verbs. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to check out the interactive activity below. And I'll see you next time. 再见